it's really nice because you feel like you're seeing the next generation of what gaming could become. There is a new tournament mode coming to the PlayStation 5. Okay, explain this. A tournament system, which will utilize um, PlayStation's online network of players and games and create, where games allow, literally online tournaments of random players mm. if you choose to take part. Yeah. So let's say Battlefield. Mm -hmm. 2042 comes out. You can take part in a local tournament and the PlayStation Online Network will take care of all of the bracketing of the games for you. Track wins and losses between players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then schedule your next match in the tournament yeah, for you. Nice. So you're at like an agreed time where you can both play. So it could be eight o'clock every night and yeah. you play first round and then if you've won x number of games in that round you then progress to the mm. next part of the bracket. so it sort of suitably matches you based on your performance does it it at the start it will and then yeah. it's just knockout like a tournament. right right okay imagine karate kid you see like yeah, the brackets yeah, yeah. at the side yeah, yeah, yeah. In. yeah it's that yeah. okay um so i didn't know if there was like sort of like like level based matching yeah so like pre is <laughs> based on like what score you've got yeah. or something if they go because you know if you've got some like you know 12 First year old player. kid that's just playing bless him and then you've got some like you know one of us that have like been hardcore in the game yeah, for calluses. six months yeah you know what i mean like yeah i, let's, I would let's wonder honest, how they your kid would win well yeah it's true <laughs> yeah. i was gonna say that <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, and then we'll be crying to our mums down the down the microphone uh, undoubtedly there'll be level based uh there's play gotta be there. some sort of there, thing there will be and, yeah. and because anyone who's played any PlayStation games knows that it records your gameplay stats as you go. Hmm. So it's very easy for it to go, okay, this person has played this game for 25 hours, hmm. has this level, this person's played it for 500 hours, mm -hmm. they're not going to be a good match. Mm -hmm. But yeah. 500, what, 300, yeah, okay. What if you've played for 1,200 hours and you still suck? Well, I mean, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Every, every time I pick up Call of Duty, I fail hard. Yeah, yeah. So I won't be taking part in any Call of Duty tournaments, but uh, I'm not a particularly competitive game player. Yeah. I I sit more on that. That's why I love the retro game so much, because yeah. there is no competitive gameplay, yeah. really. I don't know. Apart from multiplayer, yeah, Street Fighter. Well, even just you versus the game. The game is really, like, you know, well, if you're playing Resident win. Evil 1, the game is trying to beat you. Yeah, exactly. But no, I totally agree. I mean, again, I'm not one of these people that, like, enters tournaments no. and stuff. Back in the day, we're talking, like, Call of Duty 4, 2006, 2007, whenever that was, uh, Modern Warfare, the yeah. original, you know. The, I was hardcore. You were a spin jumper, like, weren't you? No. No, no, jump. I hated that. Spin jump shoot. I was a, a lay down, you know, prone shoot. Oh. Because I hated the jumping out. But yeah. to be perfectly honest, back then, neither of those happened. No. The one thing that everybody hated was um, whatever that perk was where you die and then you just sit on your ass and shoot with a pistol. Yeah. Um, yeah and and that was mean. banned in all the servers I used to play on. Yeah. Because it was just so annoying because you think you killed them and then they're just like popping you off. Every with time you kill someone, you're yep. going to die. Yeah. That, that makes sense. But back then no one used to like jump shot like round corners and do stupid stuff it was way more tactical back then yeah. it wasn't just run around and see what you did but anyway back then i used to play like hardcore like all the time a lot you know kicked off of servers because people thought i was hacking kind of a lot but even then i wouldn't have played competitively i just liked jumping into matches and just trying to get the best score i could yeah. and stuff like that however i've got a lot of friends that really like tournament style stuff even christina loves it you know oh, she okay. she's like yeah let's go two on two versus you know this that, and the other and it's like oh god like so I mean? this will be right up her street yeah she would love this so i'm not going to tell her about it because we've got a ps5 <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, this well. obviously there's no talk yet of it being sponsored tournaments or prizes or anything like that or streamed tournaments if but you win you get a ps5 <sighs> <laughs> how would you play um <laughs> exactly that's the, the, the scope is massive for that and, yeah. and potentially i can imagine you could set up your own server yeah hopefully yeah like you can on like called Duty and battlefield well, and stuff. do like a friends tournament friends tournament that'd be cool yeah uh, or streamed tournaments yeah yeah, invite yeah, yeah. only tournaments yeah, yeah. maybe there's loads that that it opens the scope to it just it's really nice because you feel like you're seeing the next generation of what gaming could become yeah and as it steps into being 
mainstream entertainment. Yeah, and that's the thing. And competitive gaming is huge. Huge. You know, like as much as I don't like to play it, you know, there's some things that I'd watch. Well, yeah, like, as you know, I'm a, a really big Formula One fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when the pandemic happened and the season got postponed, so first half of last year there was no racing. Mm. They started televising F1 tournaments yeah. on PlayStation. Well, I guess it was on PlayStation. Right, right. But And it was like the sim drivers and then yeah. some of the real drivers started taking part in it as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it was just streamed on YouTube. And it was wow. like a whole production around this That's awesome. game. Yeah, was, what a good idea. Yeah, there was like 20 people driving. Mm-hmm. Um, and all, obviously, because it was lockdown, all from their own locations... So it wasn't like it was like a, a local mm. network. This was mm. all yeah, 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 just all around the world. Yeah. yeah, all over IP. So you could see Bob suck in because his ping was four hundred because he kept teleporting. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. people were definitely they were like, like dropping out and then yeah, they yeah. disqualified from the race. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. I um, love it, but it was genuinely really entertaining. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed it because it replaced something that I was missing, mm. but actually did it in a in a in a way that's really suitable for me, and I think for our generation and, and and like the kids generation now it's going to be genuinely a mainstream source of entertainment yeah yeah definitely definitely and, and again christina loves it like she'll watch people playing like um call of duty stuff online or like dr disrespect playing yes. like Warzone yeah. or whatever like she loves that competitive sort of thing and she used to follow these teams and stuff yeah. i was never one of them i'm not into like mobas or whatever like it's not my thing yeah. but but I appreciate that a lot of people love it. You know? Yeah, a lot. And and it's things like this tournament mode on the PlayStation are going to make it more. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. It's exciting. 